In this video, we demonstrate visualizing multi-channel multi-resolution data on a Dell Latitude 7285-2 in one computer. For the best performance, connect the external GPU using a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Wait until the connection to the GPU is confirmed by the graphics driver. Now Fluo Render will take advantage of the computing power of the external GPU. Double-click the Fluo Render icon on the desktop to start Fluo Render. Multiple channels of a multi-resolution data set in the VBD format can be loaded into Fluo Render. We open the first channel of a hard data set. Then, we can load the second channel, which is saved as a separate VBD file. By default, the first loaded two channels are assigned colors red and green. Since the second channel uses a blue fluorescent dye, we can change its color to blue. We maximize the render region by clicking the Hide UI button. At a low magnification value, a low resolution level is visualized. The rotation center of user interaction starts with the center of the data set. The rotation center also translates with the panning of the view. We then zoom into the details of this data set. When the magnification value increases to a certain level, the rotation center anchor function is turned on automatically. The rotation center changes based on the depth of the structure at screen center. For example, the rotation center anchors on the profile of the heart. When we pan the view to the chamber of the heart, the rotation center also changes its depth to go inside. This allows usable rotation operations at high zoom ratios. The rotation center anchoring is computed on the selected channel. Let's select the red channel and zoom in further. We turned on the rotation center indicator, so that we know the exact location of the anchoring. When we zoom in, we start to see many details on the wall of the chamber. At this zoom level, the rotation center anchoring is essential to natural rotation interactions. The structure where the rotation center anchors always stays at the screen center. We can use the clipping planes to cut away part of the heart that might obstruct the view when we rotate. Use the digital stylus to operate on the sliders as it provides better precision than the finger. Use a combination of rotation and panning to examine the details of this data set. The rotation center anchor function uses ray casting to determine the depth of the structure. When this function is turned on at high zoom ratios, Make sure the center structure is where you want to focus. It can generate an intuitive user experience in most cases. However, sometimes a closer or deeper structure can fall at the screen center and receives the rotation center anchor. Simply pan the view sideways to recompute the rotation center. The rotation center anchoring is updated for each panning operation. As we can see, the rotation center anchoring function is especially useful for large data. When we zoom out the view to a certain level, the rotation center anchor function is turned off automatically. This function can also be turned on manually at low zoom levels. In conclusion, a large, multi channel, Multi resolution data set can be visualized with Fluo Render on a Dell Latitude 7285 2 in one computer. An intuitive user experience can be achieved thanks to the new rotation center anchor function. 